being a pirate isn't easy. Other players spit on you, and banks refuse your service. On top of that, pirates can only train skills and obtain items in the following areas. Unless, of course, we find any maps to buried treasure. Any quests that unlock new ports or islands are fair game, including all of the pirate-themed ones. I have chosen to write these tales down because someone must know the truth if I perish in the chambers of Zarek. My name is Ingus, and this is the story of how I became King of the Pirates. Chapter 7, The Trials Now that I had the Amulet of Strength and the Amulet of Magic, I felt on top of the world. Well, almost. The best lead I found towards my mother's disappearance was this piece of green fabric, and Bill Teach thinks it came from the Fremnic lands. You want me to sail to Relica? Are you blinking mad? No way. The last charter that went there was raided and torched. I promise, sir. I'll make it worth your while. Unless you got enough to insure my ship, my goods, and my life, then I'm afraid the answer is no. Look, kid, we all knew your mother. There's not a nicer soul than Mrs. Pargo. But if she wanted people to know where she went, she would have told someone. coming along. Excellent, your grace. The day of the eclipse draws ever nearer. Indeed. I imagine the offering is well accommodated. Oh yes, quite well. There was only one way I could get to Relica. I'd need to move my house there. To do this, I was forced to pay a visit to an estate agent, costing me about 10,000 doubloons. Fresh fish! Get your fresh fish! <laughs> fresh fish! When I arrived there, no one would talk to me, much less answer my questions about the mysterious green fabric. If I wanted answers, I would need to become a Fremnik. You must complete the trials if you wish to be respected by our people. There are seven council members in total. Gain their favor, and I will accept you into our clan. There were two trials that I was worried about, Thorvald the Warrior and Pyr the Seer. What makes these challenges difficult is that I cannot bring any armor or weapons in when I fight Kashai the Deathless, and for Pyr the Seer, I can't bring any items whatsoever into the trial while I complete it. On a normal account, this is no big deal, really. You can just go bank your items and complete the trial, and you're done. It's a little bit more challenging on an ultimate Iron Man, but you still have options like Zolra, and if you're not in area restricted, you could just rush the quest and get it done early before you get anything super valuable. But my friends, we do not have access to Zolra, and we are stuck with what we gotta do. Looks like it's time to hit the books. The first thing I need to figure out is how long exactly does it take for the average runescaper to complete each of these trials. Starting from the dialogue up to being teleported upstairs for Thorvald's trial, Slayer Music 1 was able to complete this part in about 6 minutes with a level 60 account. And for Pierre the Seer's trial, the average time seemed to be around 4 minutes. Unfortunately, this means we cannot drop our items and come back to pick them up, since they will disappear completely 2 minutes after being dropped. But you know me, whenever I'm faced with a challenge, I start to work harder. I spent the next couple hours researching everything I could about Ultimate Iron Man gameplay and came across two methods that could be viable for us. The first is the death mechanic. If you die to a non-player character, your items will stay on the ground for 60 minutes. So all I would need to do is die somewhere close by and in bounds. The only realistic place I could think of was in the Waterbirth Island dungeon, where the Dagonauts could easily take me out within about 30 seconds. Until you finish the Fremenic Trials, however, it costs 1k coins to get there. And being an Ultimate Iron Man, all of my items are dropped to the floor when I die. There are no items kept on death or protect item prayer. 
Without my cash stack or any of my items, getting back to Relica would be nearly impossible. I'd need to somehow earn 1k coins or get the runes to teleport back within 60 minutes. This is simply too much time to spend on one attempt that heavily relied on RNG, without at least trying the second method we uncovered. During drop parties, I remembered that some players might place items on tables, and this made me wonder if the time limit is different than the drop timer. It wasn't much, but it was worth a shot. I decided to test it myself. The first thing we'd need is a table we could actually put our stuff on. In the entire city of Relica, I found three tables. There were two pieces of information I wanted to find. The length of time it takes for an item to appear to other players, and how long it takes for that item to disappear completely. So it only took one minute. Yeah, it was 1430. It only took one minute. So I just wanted to show you that this is the only piece of information I was able to find on the 10 minute table spawn. Yeah some archived post from like three years ago. That's just how hard this information was to find. So it looks like it is possible to preserve our items for at least 10 minutes. Let's turn back to our initial calculations. For Kashai, I think it's best to plan for a six minute fight time since we are a bit higher than 60 combat. However, it will take some time to place each individual item on the table and make our way to the trial, as well as returning in time to pick each of them up again. Let's add on 2 minutes to the trial time, putting us at about 8 minutes. That leaves us just 2 minutes to get back to our stuff in time, assuming we get decent RNG. And that's if some random person decides not to take the free stuff that appears on the table after the 2 minute mark. It's possible, but this is going to be difficult. There are a few things I need to prepare so I can take Kashai down as quickly as possible. Now that we have access to a ring mold, we can make rings of recoil and these will help out greatly. But that's not all. When I was doing all that research, I came across another discovery. While you cannot bring armor, weapons, or runes, you can bring treasure trail caskets, which have a chance to drop all of those things. Getting a hard clue or higher that we can actually complete on this account is slim to none, so we'll only be able to bring two supply crates as backup. But first, we gotta get our caskets. So I have all this cash that's going to need to be burned up anyways in case we lose it. I think what I'm going to do is buy some runes and head to the Ice Warriors in Asgarnia Dungeon because they drop our medium clue scroll. So hopefully if we're lucky, we'll be able to get one. Ice Warriors can be kind of annoying, but if you trap both of them like this, then you can take no damage. Boom, and that is why we're doing this. 59 magic. The levels are getting pretty expensive, but uh, what else are we going to do with this cash anyways? Oh! And there it is, 60 magic. I cannot believe it. It's kind of crazy, but most of these levels were done by fire striking. That is insane. Can't say I've ever done that before. <gasps> we got it. We got it. We don't have to kill any of these anymore. All right, hopefully we can do this. Ooh, that's really close by, actually. All right, step number two. Nice. Party Pete. All right, we just need one more step, hopefully. And it's in the Lumbridge Swamp. Sweet. All right, can we get it the first time? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Just kidding, I knew where that was. Please be somewhere we can go. Sweet. We can go there. All right, this could be the casket. Come on. Yes. We got it. We got it. All we need is an easy clue. And of course, for that, we are heading to Ammonite Crabs. I'm actually fire striking these since we have some runes left over and it's actually not that bad. Pretty AFK. Nice, I thought it was going to take a little bit longer than that. Hopefully we can do all the steps. Easy. Step number two. Body tiara, what? Well I guess it's a good thing we have the crafting shop in Remington. But where the hell am I going to get a body talisman? That's my question. Apparently there are only seven monsters that drop the body talisman and that's the only way to get it. <laughs> As usual, we're only going to kill a couple of these because we really don't want to get too much XP from this. But unfortunately, the drop is uncommon from them. So, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, what is this RNG, man? Well, that solves that issue. I was legit worried that I would have to go back and get another easy clue, so... That's pretty sick, I guess this is meant to be. Okay, we can actually build a stash unit with this stuff, so just gonna pick up some nails. And there's the pink skirt. You're probably wondering, wait Ingus, aren't you gonna get some runecrafting XP from this? So I did some thinking. 
This does technically fall under the clue scroll clause, which means we can make any items needed for a clue scroll. And besides, it does fit into a stash unit, so we only have to make this once. Therefore, we can do it. Wow, I look like a straight up beast right now. Can we be done? Yes, we are done. We got our caskets. Let's just build this very quickly. I think we are about ready to take on the trials. I'm just going to quickly use up the rest of these bronze knives. 65 range. That looks pretty sick. That's actually in my highest skill, I think. Aw, oh, what a lad. Giving me tips and stuff. I'm so proud of this community. Should we say it? Welcome to the Caribbean, lad. There we go. 66 range. I don't think we'll have enough for another level, but just imagine if we drop that, man. That's a complete XP waste. Hey, there's 59 defense. Sometimes when I need to AFK for a second, I just switch on my melee gear. That way I can edit videos or whatever. There's only one more level. I can't resist. 60 defense. Ooh, those base 60s are looking fresh. I'm just going to switch to strength for now because I got a little bit more AFKing to do. 61 strength and 66 hit points. It was finally time to make our first attempt at Kashai. We're going to free up some inventory space when we put our armor and weapons on the table, so I'm going to actually put some Karambwans here and then basically do a drop trick and teleport back. Man, I really hope this works. Okay, we got our food. Time to teleport back. This is starting to look pretty messy, but trust me, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, there's no turning back now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... What? Oh boy, here we go. Where the heck is he? I can't find him. There he is. Let's go. First casket. That's trash. Now for the second one. For your health. Oh, no way. Dude, that's gonna help so much. Okay. That's sick. Right now, I'm also watching things on my main because I'm so afraid of losing my stuff to some random person. Oh sh! I see a white dot. Please don't take my stuff. Oh, it's a noob. Please don't see my stuff, man. Attack. Go, go, go. Wave three. Right now we're at, we're at three minutes. There's two white dots. We're starting to cut it really close now. We have about three and a half minutes left. <sighs> yes! Haha! <laughs> we have achieved success. That is awesome. With Kashai defeated, we received our first vote. Next up was Manny the Reveler who challenged me to a drinking competition. It was obvious that I would never beat a man who could drink several barrels of beer a day. I mean, if this was rum, I could beat him 10 times over. Easy. So I only had one option. Hey, don't look at me like that. What pirate have you met that always plays by the rules? Two down, five to go.
Next was Sigli the Huntsman, who told me if I tracked down the dragon, he'd give me his vote. Sounds easy enough, right? And then, it came. Next up was Sigmund the Merchant, who wanted me to find a rare flower for him. Let's just say this took a bit longer than I expected. Eventually we got his vote though. After that we had to complete a silly maze by Swenson the Navigator, which is literally just his name. Olaf the Bard wanted me to prove my worth by performing at the long haul. For this, I would need an instrument. In this world, there are many phenomenon yet to be explained by man. And I'm afraid there's no scientific explanation for how I got my magical lyre. I had overheard some men talking about a swaying tree outside Relica, so I took a shot in the dark. Unfortunately, I'd need to get a couple woodcutting levels to cut it down. After tricking a mountain troll into getting his golden fleece, and spinning it at the only spinning wheel I have access to in Witchhaven, Olaf recommended that I bring it, along with a raw shark, to the strange altar southwest of Relica. At first I thought this was a problem because I didn't have 76 fishing yet, and then I remembered Frankie's fishing emporium. With 100% Piscarillus favor, Frankie would begin stalking sharks for me. I'm really hoping this doesn't take too long, but at least we get some hunter XP. Hey, 22 hunter. Not too bad. Alright, this should be the last inventory. And yep, there we go. 100% favor. How's it going, Mr. Frankie? Hopefully you have a raw shark for me. Welcome to the Caribbean, then. Okay, maybe this world's just out of him or something. <gasps> oh, there it is. We got it. We got the sharks. That is so sick. We can finally move on to the next step. Question is, can we play Sea Shanty 2 on this? One to go. Hello, Mr. Table. We meet again. So I guess there's an even bigger risk this time because not only do we have to put out... Because not only do we have to get rid of our armor and weapons, we have to get rid of everything for Pyr this year. Luckily, it shouldn't take as long as Thorvald, but still, I do feel a little bit nervous. All right, let's do this. All right, close the door behind me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. First, we have the riddle. Looks like it is life. Okay, enter.
as you can see right here I was a little confused on what to do here I mean I, I thought I was pretty prepared but I guess I uh, I guess I forgot but we eventually got it down We're home free. That's the last vote, boys. Time to claim my stuff. Luckily, no one was snooping around here like they were last time. Oh, finally. It's over. It's over, man. That feels so good to have this done. From this day onward, you are Outlander no more. Welcome to the clan, Taldor. So was my experience with the Fremnic Trials. I could finally return to my investigation on my mother's disappearance. But things never really work out the way you want them to. Hi laddie, just because you got the Fremnic name doesn't mean you're not an Outlander still. If you want people to talk to you, you'll still have to earn their respect. Well, how can I do that? For starters, poor Mrs. Radson's husband went missing, and so was Jossick, keeper of the lighthouse. You best get to work. Heh 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 heh.